cinco. Then from here, I'm going on a basic two, three, five, six, seven. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Um, Dracer Garcia. Uh, my profession is uh, I'm a dancer, but these days I'm a director of a company, I'm the owner of a Drake Dancer Academy, and yeah, a lot of things on the way. Um, I'm coming from Cuba. I uh, born there and I came here when I was like 27 years old. It's been like 10 years here in Canada. Uh, what I was doing there, I was a professional dancer, actually. Uh, I started dancing when I was 12 years old. And since then, non-stop. Uh, when I started teaching salsa, well, this, this was um, something from when I was dancing in the American theater. Uh, in this company, we have a project that we will do for the community, for the youth around the the area and they said to me in the company that I had to teach these uh, workshops and it was fun because you learn how to deal with people, how to teach, how to explain. It's no, no easy, it's something really tricky but well I learned uh, and I started doing that back in when I was like 18 years old, 2000 and six, seven, something like that. Then after that, I started working in Cayo Largo del Sur. It's like an island down in Cuba. It's a tourism, for tourism. And there I started teaching tourists how to dance salsa, cha-cha-cha, mambo, pilong, this, that. And it was really fun. It was really fun. I really enjoyed this teaching process. Dre is like his energy is contagious. He it, it, he's always here, so you get used to him. So he's he's just he's very reliable because he's always here. Um, he barely takes a time off work, and when he's not here, like for the odd class, if you miss him, so that's how you really know. Oh, I really like coming to Dre's, and Dre's a really great teacher. When I got here, I didn't know, I didn't knew too many people. I was like kind of alone in the field. And I started looking for people that dance and have dance at school and this and that. But well, I, I went to South St. Sinclair and there I talked to Jennifer O'Coin. She's one of the, the biggest uh, business owner of salsa and all this stuff here in Toronto. And she, she said, yeah, come and teach with us. And, well, I wanted to be seen in the dance community. And yeah, it was fun. But after three years, when I thought that the salsa community knew a little bit about me, I decided to open my own school. It was in the lowest point of my life uh, back in those days. Uh, I was doing construction in the side. I was dancing. Then, yes. I decided to open the studio. Once I opened the studio, uh, everything changed. Everything was a little more excited because I was doing what I want. But still, I was doing construction during the day and I was dancing at night. It was a, a big tool on my, on my body because I was working like crazy. Crazy amount of hours. I moved to this place in 2019 and there everything changed for the good and for the bad because when COVID came, things were interesting. But well, we survived COVID and here we are, Great Dance Academy still. <laughs> Yeah, my